Okay, so for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can ink your straight lines. And I'm going to use my technical pens for those because uh, the brush is uh, an inorganic object, although the hair, I guess, could technically be considered organic. But regardless, uh, ink with a beveled edge and uh, so that the ink doesn't run under it, so that if I ink this line here and I move, I don't want it to go under. Um, and part of that is because either the edge isn't beveled or how you're holding the pen. You're holding the pen too close to the edge. So with the caps on, just kind of show you a little bit. Uh, I tend to hold my pen angled outward away from the tool so that it can run along the edge of the tool to give me the straight line. And that's how you get the straight line, actually. But my point isn't like this. If I'm holding it straight up and down, or worse, holding an angle towards the tool. That's what's going to give you those smudged lines when you move your tool. So this guy, we'll just show you a couple of lines really quickly. So I'm going to use my fine point, and I'm just going to line my tool up to it. And remember, I'm lining it up to the line that I've drawn, and I'm not holding it straight like this. I'm angling it, and I've, you just got to kind of look to see... And see how it doesn't smear. And so uh, you can do this with thick lines. You can do it with brush pens too. And I know some very talented guys that they can do this with just a dip brush, and uh, it's just amazing. And this technique is, uh, as I'm also explaining, holding it away from the edge, even if it doesn't have a beveled edge. The beveled edge is, can be like a security blanket um, or a safety net, if you will. But uh, even having um, a uh, non-beveled tool like your metal T-squares and stuff like that, you can still use this technique because you're aiming it away from the edge. And since this is a kind of a thick line on the other side, I'm going to use my 1.5 to give me the nice key line. And if you're looking at it, sometimes you'll see where your pen stops at, that it pools uh, until it dries on the surface. Uh, and that's what's going to cause it to smear. So if you hold your pen correctly, even if you don't have a beveled tool, um, this, this technique will still work. So, um, but that's how you ink straight lines uh, with beveled tools or just in general.